Hello, I'm London Swan. As the federal budget cuts known as the sequester begin to take effect, scholars and politicians are trying to gauge which party is going to get the blame. As WTIU Stan Jastrzewski reports, a scholar and a Monroe County Republican disagree on the ultimate effect of the stalemate. As government slows and workers are furloughed between now and April 1st, both parties in Washington will scurry to avoid losing political capital. But one Indiana University scholar says she thinks the public has already decided who should be on the hook for workers getting the hook. There's no doubt that the Republicans in Congress will get more of the blame. There just are not a whole lot of, of intense, mouth-breathing moderates out there. You know, um, they, they keep waiting for batches of people to come out and say, yes, this is what we need, compromise, you know, but compromise is just sort of a contradiction in terms. But Nelson Schaefer, a Monroe County Republican precinct committeeman, says he believes his party should be lauded for not wanting to give in. People in power seem to consider that we are an endless group of sheep to be shorn whatever they wish. I believe that conservatives are trying to stand up, sheepish as they may be, and say, enough. Let me have some wool for my family. A federal accounting of how the sequester will affect Indiana indicates the state would lose as much as $30 million in direct federal funding if the cuts take full effect. For WTIU News, I'm Stan Jastrzewski. Senior night at Assembly Hall was spoiled Tuesday night when the Ohio State Buckeyes handed the Indiana men's basketball team its fifth loss of the season. The Buckeyes took the lead for good on an Evan Ravenall layup with 12 minutes left in the game and won 67 to 58. OSU's Deshaun Thomas was the game's leading scorer with 18 points. After the game, IU hosted a sendoff for seniors Derek Elston, Jordan Holes, and Christian Watford. Despite the loss, the Hoosiers celebrated winning a share of the Big Ten title, something they haven't done since 2002. Now here's a quick check of the weather. Tonight will be cloudy, lows in the mid-20s. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, highs in the mid-30s. Tomorrow night, mostly clear, lows around 17. Take a look at the five-day forecast. Friday will be sunny with highs in the lower 40s and lows in the mid-20s. Saturday will be partly cloudy, highs around 50 and lows around 40. Sunday will be mostly cloudy with a 40% chance of rain, highs in the mid-50s and lows in the lower 40s. Monday will be mostly cloudy with a 60% chance of rain and snow. For WTIU News, I'm London Swan.